and you're all invited to our wedding this Thursday. I can't go. In New Orleans. By myself. I have to bring my family. I'm in. Yeah. We're in. Ah, New Orleans. Combining the luck of Puerto Rico with the mosquitoes of Haiti. Feels a little humid. One hundred dollars, please, blind and deaf lady! Mort, you are my forever person. Aww. May we continue to have no respect for other drivers on the road and view stop signs as suggestions. And Rachel, you are my forever person. Aww. And may my dead ex-wife's uncle's Netflix account continue to be fruitful to us for many years to come. Brian, I'd like you to meet my fiancé that I ordered from the Ukraine, the soon-to-be Zlata Griffin. Is that... is there a dead body in there? Yeah, they send two in case one dies. Shiva's sister. Looks like her arm was gnawed off. Babe, you don't have to eat people. We got food. Now grab a yogurt that's way smaller than you knew they made yogurts. And you grab an orange juice that doesn't taste like orange juice, but like someone described the taste of orange juice to an alien. I'll figure out a way in. After all, I snuck into Brian Singer's birthday party. Excuse me, how old are you? Not of legal age anywhere in the world. Have fun, tell whoever you want. Weirdly, no one cares about this. I honestly didn't think you'd care. It's not like you're having sex with her. I know, right? Once they say I do, they don't. Stewie, don't be mad. Don't be mad? I'm driving all over New England, picking up rigs and scrubbing up holstery so I can take you to nice places, and you're in bed with my friend pitching woo? I'll show you what happens to guys who touch my wife with this Mike Mustaka signature bat. Jeez, they're getting rather loosey-goosey with signature bats. You play doctor with my wife, Bri? You show her yours? <laughs> she show you hers? <laughs> Those are private parts! We don't touch private parts! <laughs> Did you kiss butts? Did you, Bri? I kiss butts with a lot of people, but Stewie, I'm sorry. I guess I just got carried away in the moment. Well, I'm getting a little carried away right now. <laughs> a bad one to miss on right there. Welcome back to the Stuff You Should Just Spend the Money On podcast. Today's episode, expressing your dog's anal glands. Yeah, you really don't want to DIY on the anal glands. Just spend the money. It can't cost more than, ah. I don't know, 30 bucks? $30 is three months of Netflix. Ah. So don't watch The Crown for three months. I like The Crown. What if I like The Crown? Watch it all in one weekend. If you don't finish a Netflix series in a weekend, that's on you. Lois, can we just, can we just kiss a little first? You know what? I, I think it's actually starting to clear up on its own. Whoa, Black Betty, bam a lamb. Hey, Black Betty, bam a lamb. Would you like to donate a cup of coffee to a soldier overseas? Yeah, that seems like a good cause. Hey, here's your free cup of coffee from a lady in Rhode Island. What? I do impulsive things. That's how I ended up getting Rod Stewart's hair. Morning, love. Mind if I sing a tune into your vagina? Just like I needed my own Gregor the Mountain Clegane. Next. Hi, Gil. Uh, can I get... Pound of honey ham. Cut it thin. Oh, excuse me. I believe I was next. Uh, step aside, lady. Yeah, hi, Gil. Can I try a piece of the pepper turkey? Hero. You flush it. It scares me when it goes away. Yes. Hero. I'll be a hero, and then they'll have to make me customer of the week. Why is this story all about Mom this week? What? Are we giving Seth's voice a rest? Lois, have you seen the pooping iPad? I can only go while watching Tiger King. Huh? The iPad we use only while pooping and occasionally on flights for Stewie? Ew, I play Elmo's ABCs on that. Is that why I keep getting pink eye? Okay, Peter, think. You're a cartoon character. You can conjure up anything in the world to get yourself out of this. 
So long, Lois and lady I accidentally called sir. The lines are speed. I didn't draw any food or supplies. I drew that. Oh, God, how does it look wet and dry at the same time? You look like if Shelly Duvall ate Shelly Duvall. Peter, you have to get a haircut. Lois, Jerry's dead. So I think I'm just going to be a long-haired old guy from here on out. I'm, like, not mad at his hair. Sorry, but, like, I would. You would what? And with who? Anything. With anybody. I don't give a horse's tomato. Okay, come on, guys. It's just hair. I'm still the same old Peter. Nothing's going to change. Oh, I'm late. The hair doesn't know yet that he doesn't need a briefcase for work. The first unit up for bids today contains the band members from Sugar Ray. Every morning there are old guys bidding for the value of my bandmates' four gross beds. Shut the door, baby. Don't say a word. They still got it. Sorry, I'm just so preoccupied with Peter's hair. Every time he comes in a room, he's accompanied by the Aqualung guitar lick. I'll be out back. Forgot my keys. Well, I got into Orange Julia's school today. That's wonderful, Chris. Unique. Tell him what the guy said, Chris. He said I was lucky I was the only one who applied. You're being too modest. He also said they only accept 99% of applicants. Anyway, I've already been fired for touching myself while the hot dog on a stick ladies made lemonade. That's terrible, Chris. Well, to be fair, the hot dogs look like wieners and lemonade looks like pee, so I was kind of doomed from the get-go. How come when I went missing, you guys didn't keep looking for me? Well, we really like to leave things up to God's will. Oh, boy. Ha-ha! <laughs> Roadhouse callback! Ah! Roadhouse callback! I never saw Roadhouse. It's about kicking. Hey, Joe, what's up? Peter, I'm afraid you're under arrest for entering another man's home and kicking both he and his wife in the head. But it was from a movie. Well, that doesn't make a difference in the eyes of the law. But I said the name of the movie. Peter, I'd move away from that as a legal strategy. Yeah, I'll take my chances. Has the jury reached a verdict? We have. Not guilty. Nobody puts Peter in a corner. Yay! I lucked out with jury selection. <laughs>